This is a dry pipe system. Uh, dry pipe system is a uh, air filled piping network uh, with fire sprinklers uh, connected to the piping. The air pressure in the system is utilized to close a dry pipe valve. A dry pipe valve is a differential type valve. Uh, the differential being five and a half times larger on the air side than the water inlet side. The uh, air is uh, used in lieu of water um, where we have systems that could be subject to freezing. Uh, the air pressure is supplied through uh, in general an air compressor or a compressed air system. Uh, the air pressure is maintained automatically through an air maintenance device. Uh, the system uh, once it's been tripped, it's, been, it's tripped due to uh, air leaving the riser. Um, if a sprinkler head were to open uh, air pressure would be relieved off the system, the dry valve clapper would open, and water would fill the system and flow out the open sprinkler. Uh, we have a simulated sprinkler on the back of our riser. Uh, once we open that, the air pressure will be drained from the system, allowing the dry valve to open and water to flood the system. To stop the water flow through the system, we need to close our control valve, our water supply control valve. And then drain our sprinkler riser. We drain the water from our sprinkler riser through the main drain on the base of the dry pipe valve. Once the water is drained through the sprinkler riser, uh, we need to open the faceplate of the dry pipe valve to reset the clapper. Um, during this time, we can close off our air supply, and now we're able to open our faceplate on our dry pipe valve. Once a faceplate is removed, you take your hands and rub your fingers across the brass seats, the air and water seat. Remove any debris that may be residual through water flow. Now rub your fingers across the clapper rubber. Remove any debris that's residual through water flow. To reset the valve, you have to reach in and unhook the clapper and pull it forward. You'll need a reset tool to actually set the clapper. The reset bar goes through the, the hook of the valve and stops at the backstop of the clapper assembly. And with a quick motion to set it, you lift straight up and the valve is set. At that point, you're able to replace the faceplate gasket. If your dry system is equipped with a quick opening device, the quick opening device has to have all the air removed from it prior to bringing air into the sprinkler system. Uh, the quick opening device on this valve riser is called an accelerator. You'll see that we have gauge pressure. The way to remove the pressure from the accelerator is by removing the plug. Once the air is removed, you can reinstall the plug. and then bring air pressure into the system. Prior to bringing air into the system, you have to correct the deficiency in the sprinkler system, uh, which could be replacing a sprinkler head or repairing any piping that may be broken. In this case, we closed our valve in the back, which is our simulated sprinkler head. At this point, with all the outlets closed on the system, we're able to reestablish our air pressure. Once your air pressure is established in the system, your supervisory alarm for your low air pressure should uh, clear. Uh, now we can bring our water supply to the base of the riser. We're going to leave our main drain open. We're going to crack open our water supply so we get a water flow through the main drain. Then we're going to slowly close the main drain. We can open our control valve entirely.